I guess this is going to be kind of a part one of my uh, dwell into the uh, figures. This is the first package I'm getting. Um, I guess ever since uh, the cancel official cancellation of the Transformers Prime first edition figures in the United States, I was pretty pretty fucking upset about it. Um, excuse my language, but uh, pretty much dedicated a whole episode of Primecast to it. Because it's pretty much bullshit how how it all went down, and you can listen to that episode if you choose to, if you haven't already. Um, this is the first, because I decided not to right out buy them, because immediately the prices went, like, way up for them in the aftermarket. So I actually did a couple trades. Um, my knife is kind of busted but it still works um, this is the first package I'm not sure which what's in here I'm getting two packages um, which will be pretty much the remainder of of the first edition line because I have Bumblebee and RC uh, okay and I have it upside down because my all contact information is right there and just be easier just to do it upside down instead of marking it all out fragile must be Italian um so cut this open very excited I hope it's what I think it is because it was it was the uh, figure that I wanted the most it's not really hard to guess what it is if it was the one I wanted most because I said many times and this will be my first time ever seeing them in person and yep the uh, first edition Optimus Prime packed very nicely oh wow <laughs> that that's a honest shock right there because even just looking through the bubble wrap this is one thing that I've been just dying to get my hands on and I, I was definitely going to get them uh, sorry I got technicals one way or another and this is the first edition Optimus Prime because I absolutely hate hate the look of the Power Riser one Which will, which is the one we'll begin in the United States, and there he is. This is the Canadian packaging, so that's why it says first edition in three different languages. Very, very cool. So excited that I finally was able to get a version, a copy of him, and I got two because, well, it's not for scalper reasons. I don't buy multiples of figures just to sell them. I buy them because I'm just a pure collector. Um, let me pan the camera down a little bit. Yeah, I'm just a pure collector. Um, I don't buy multiples of figures just to make money. I do them because, well, any figure that I really, really like, I like to get multiples of, especially of if it's really nice packaging like this, then, um, that, because it's a collector's item, and with how hard this figure is to come by, that it's just one I'd really like to have a mint and seal box version of, even though I would have preferred, uh, the US version where it just say first edition, not those bilingual crap. Um, yeah, so the other package, package I should be getting would be um, uh, two bulkheads, first edition, two cliff jumpers, first edition, and one first edition Starscream. I decided to get Starscream because I really hate the look of the Voyager class one. So, um, should be getting that package soon, so I'll probably be post, uh, doing these videos together. So, this was, um, 
February 19th. February. February. Library. Strawberry. <laughs> that was a funny episode of Scrubs. Alright, um, can't wait, can't wait to play with this figure. Alright, uh, see you in just a second. So, I already tweeted this earlier this morning, um, because a mailman actually woke me up this morning, and I forgot to open up the package, and plus the box seemed real light, so I was kind of nervous that there was actually nothing in it, because I got this as due to a trade, so I heard it, uh, open up in a hurry, but I did, in fact, get, a wow, that glare is awful, two first edition Bulkhead, sorry about the squeakiness from my chair. Really looking forward to reviewing him. A uh, deluxe Star Scream and two Cliff Jumpers. One U.S. and the other uh, Japanese version. Which that one I plan on displaying just just a box because it's in robot mode. So. I think it looks really nice in robot mode there, plus it has the Tomi Takara sticker on it. which And that con confuses me because the, the, even though this is supposedly the US or regular release, it has some what well, looks like Chinese, uh, a Chinese sticker on it, which is really peculiar. But that was not the first of my, well, it's not really purchases, I just got them today, but I made several other purchases, and my wife did, and you'll see them r right now. So, I've been an avid iPhone fan for the past, mmm, three and a half to four years when I first got the 3G, it was before the 3GS came out. This is the iPhone 4, and I'd say summer of last year maybe July or something the front camera died which was kind of a bummer um, and ever since then the batteries was getting worse and worse and a few months ago I started doing a funky thing where whenever I'll turn it off it'll turn itself back on so I couldn't even try to save battery and let me just get this light back a little bit that's kind of blowing everything out that's a little bit better and um, just recently, just a few days ago, uh, after when I was at work on my first break, uh, I know it was close to 100% when I when I uh, was on, when I got to work, and then on my first break, which was about two and a half hours later, it was completely dead, and it had a battery uh, symbol saying that you had to plug it in. I thought the phone was completely screwed over and it felt warm. And then I plugged it in when I got home. It took forever to charge up. It took seriously it took like at least three hours to get any sort of charge. And the phone got really, really hot. I mean it burned my ear when I put it to make a call. And I'm pretty sure something is melting on the inside because the lock button here was super sticky and when it's cool like it is now because it's been dead for hours um, it was it's fine now but um yeah that was definitely the final nail in the coffin and I wanted to get away from AT&T for a while so I ended my contract and instead of getting a new iPhone I got the HTC Resound bigger screen uses uh, Android's uh, 4G LTE with Verizon. This is currently running uh, Android 2.3 but by summer it will be running 4.0 ice cream sandwich. It's, uh, it's a little bit thicker than I would have liked it but it's not a big. I did get a free case with not free. I, paid a, I got a bundle. You can That's like a mirror man. But I did get a bundle with it. I got a case. I don't didn't care for it so I'm going to be returning it has a 8 megapixel camera on the back, dual LED flash, and it records in 1080p. And I'm going to be doing a, a test video here in a second in the indoor with my nice lighting. Because uh, the, la the last part of this video 
is going to be in kind of mediocre warm lighting so it's not going to look all that great. You'll probably see that test video right about now. This is the uh, indoor test with my optimum lighting uh, setup which uses a cool light instead of the warm lighting that you'll see in just a little bit because that was shot in the living room which uses warm lighting and everything looks kind of crappy but outside in the daylight it looks amazing and with my lighting that I'm using that which mimic which uh, the light bulbs mimic daylight perfectly at least as perfect as you can get everything looks really nice get up really close cliff jumper here it can get in really really close which I really like still focusing and I'm pretty much right onto it yeah that's awesome that, oh, whoa buddy get out there we go but um that's something I really hate about the camera on the iPhone 4 just you can not really get really that close up to anything so I'm I'm really happy with the video cam that was the biggest thing because I, I do a lot of videos, especially on my phone, vlogging or whatever, vlogging, doing outdoors shit, and just easier stuff. So that's about it for this section. So that's basically what it looks like in the indoor lighting, which 1080p, not bad, but um, let's actually turn it on. Got this really cool, it's HTC, so it uses HTC Sense. Which I really like. Swipe up. Right there. Got Twitter. Voicemail. But it's all Android stuff. But I still have a lot and a lot of configuration to do with this phone. But I'm really excited about it. I was kind of nervous about it because, you know, I've been a big fan of iPhone and Apple for a long time. I'm, I mean, I'm still a huge fan of Apple. I still love my Mac. I can't see myself getting Windows ever again but um this phone is really awesome I could I, I there'd be other better people to explain uh, that like the specs and such but this is running uh, this is my first Android device and I like it I like the HTC because I really like the sense it's 102 in the morning jeez and this one although it doesn't have a kickstand a lot of HTC oh and it's uh, Beats by Dr. Dre certified. Um, so let me actually set this off to the side here. And here's the box. Came in. I have actually haven't tested these out yet. But. Okay, how, there we go. It actually comes with a really nice pair of Dr. Dre Beats uh, earbuds which are valued at over a hundred bucks just by themselves and I love nice sets of earbuds wow that thing goes forever in there these are super long but real nice um, I don't guess that's a little little case there's something in there. This is my first time really looking at it. What's in there? Oh, that's weird. Oh, replacement covers for the buds. Um, oh, here's the USB cable. And that's the AC adapter. I'm definitely going to be needing this because it's my first Android phone. I would have <clears throat> my ideal my plan was to actually wait to see what the next iPhone was that's going to be released later on this year, but um, I didn't really have the option, and I don't really care because I really like this phone and I can see myself keeping it for a few years. It works really nice. So that's the end of this part. I'm going to go into last segment here right about now. Testing out uh, my new phone today the uh, got the HTC uh, resound through Verizon I know in the past I've complained about this smaller 32 inch 
HD TV and how kind of slow it is. So, going out with the old and in with the new. There's my wife. Hi. Yeah, I'm giving her the pleasure of opening this up. Let's put it down here. Can you believe you're letting me do it? Yeah. So how how much did it hurt your fingers trying to bring it in? A lot. It's fucking heavy as hell. Hold on. Bear has to watch. <laughs> you cut that box. Cut that box. Cut that shit. Cut that shit. Got a 50 inch Panasonic. 50 inch Panasonic plasma. Yeah. You like that. Yeah. Uh, so it has applications on it. Like, I believe it has um, like Netflix, Pandora Radio, yeah. some other things. Well, I'm going to have to stop recording because this is definitely going to be. More than, more than she can handle, too. It's heavy. Oh, well, yeah, I know, but still. I'm, so. not, a, I'm not a pussy. <laughs> and weren't she just complaining about how cold it was? It's, it is it's, cold it's outside. So cold. It's like 20 degrees. It's like fi it's 50 degrees. In the house, it's The TV set up. 50-inch Panasonic. Huge upgrade from us. Everything looks so dark right now because the screen is so bright. But... Get off so you can see. I got my 360 hooked up. Also got my Apple TV hooked up there. Uh, just generic DVD player right there. Cable, digital cable. Gonna get a Blu-ray player soon. Gears of War. And um, what do you think about it so far? It's nice. Very big. And um, you're actually going to be using the old TV just sitting over there. As My your computer monitor. Computer monitor now. Nice study tool. And uh, what's what's this present, other present you got? My iPad 2. Your iPad 2. You like it? Yep. You had a Kindle nice. Fire for a while. Which do you like more? Definitely the iPad. Do you? Yeah, it's much nicer. I'd have to agree. So, that's about, i uh, got the new TV, i uh, got this new phone here, which um, I'm, I'm really happy with. I was kind of sad at first to be partying with the iPhone, but then I really, this is the HTC Resound uh, 4G LTE. I'm really starting to like it and got a whole bunch of prime figures in today. So I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a busy night. Pictures that make me laugh. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs>